The Medford School District is paying out another settlement to a student who says she was touched inappropriately by a teacher. That student says it happened in 2010 in Chris Gilman's class in Howard Elementary. This is the sixth girl to receive a settlement in connection to allegations concerning that former teacher. Her family is expected to get about $75,000. Meanwhile, the State Teachers Commission is charging Gilman with official misconduct. This move comes two years after he was fired. Gilman says the touching was innocent. However, he has agreed to never apply for another teaching license. Now the community is calling on school districts to learn how to better deal with allegations against teachers. Tonight in a News 10 special report, News 10's Libby Dowsett takes a look at some of the problems and solutions to keep teachers from falling between the cracks. School districts say they have protocols they follow for checking teachers' backgrounds and dealing with allegations of misconduct. But not everyone agrees the system is working. Tonight we meet one of the girls who accused teacher Chris Gilman of touching her private areas during class in 2003. She and her mother believe the whole situation was botched from the start. It feels like you're banging your head against the wall. Shannon says her now 18-year-old daughter, who's asked us to conceal her face, has gone through hell since fourth grade when she first accused her teacher, Chris Gilman, of inappropriately touching her. I felt like I was in trouble to a point and that it was my fault, like, um, why me? She was afraid that other people were going to find out and they were going to be mad at her and she was afraid the teacher was going to come after her. Shannon says school officials at Howard interviewed her daughter without her knowledge. All this had transpired and I had never been notified of any of it. And my daughter had requested to please be able to call me and she was told no. And after her interview, um, she was returned back to the classroom with the teacher. Gilman never faced prosecution. The Teacher Standards and Practices Commission put him on probation for two years, but he was allowed to keep teaching. Shannon said their case was kept quiet and they were heartbroken when six years later, more girls came forward with allegations against Gilman. Very angry that he doesn't think what he, or he doesn't um, be punished for what he did. and know that what he did is wrong. No Todd record. Bloomquist God with the Medford concerned. School District says every case is different, but school staff members are trained for these types of situations. Most teachers are pretty savvy on what to do when a kid's coming in saying, I've got this problem where I have this concern. They will generally immediately go right down to the principal's office and say, hey, we've got a situation here. We need to, you to help in with this situation. But Marlena Mish with the Children's Advocacy right. Center so says many times school staff members interview the kids before the authorities do, which can taint the case and prevent prosecution. The very instant that child makes a disclosure, there are four things that the teacher needs to say. I believe you. It's not your fault. I applaud your courage to coming forward and telling something painful, and I'm going to get the proper authorities who can help. This student says in her case, she can only hope the district has learned from its mistakes. They should have had my back, and then the second time, that's like shame on them. I asked Todd Bloomquist in the Medford School District if he was aware Gilman was reprimanded in the Brookings Harbor School District before coming to Medford for referring to a student as a whore. Here's the document right here from Gilman's former principal. Bloomquist said he was not personally aware of it. We contacted Chris Gilman about this story. He said he had no comment. Even though the state's Teachers Commission announced it's now charged Gilman with misconduct, it has yet to release documents from its investigation until it makes a final determination determination in the case. We'll keep you updated. Covering your news, Libby Dowsett, News 10.